So, you know, I've been having these weird dreams. Well, what do you dream about, Willem? Right. So, just food. I should have known. So Brom, what does it do? It's a cauldron. You cook things in it. <laughs> but is it magic? Ah, you youngsters and your endless desire for ruinous magics. Sometimes craftsmanship and beauty are their own rewards. Now go. Your presence here means that time is short. There is much to do. Thank you, Orn, for everything. It's been an honor. Yes! Ooh, ah, ah, ah. Remember, child, when darkness surrounds everything and all seems lost, sometimes a little spark is all that's needed to light the greatest of fires. <sighs> you have outstayed your welcome. Away. Leave me. I know, I know. We should get back to Rom.
Hmm. Well, do you ever wonder if you're really the last Yeti? If there are others? I know how you feel. That's how I think about Mom, too. Maybe after we find the Heart of the Blue, we can go visit some milk tie. Hey, Brom! We had the most amazing adventure! I think you'll help us pass the blizzard. This is nice. You have found incredible treasure. <laughs> Compliment needed, my friends. Was Brom's blizzard. So, what happens now? Are we gonna try and cross the blizzard? No. Uh, now we sleep. The blizzard is a challenge we face in the morning. You know, Brom, back in the fortress, we found something scary. Don't be like that. You know the void is really scary stuff. Uh, the void? Uh, stop there, little friend. Tell me exactly what you saw. Well, there was a carving of one of those giant tentacle monsters and statues of the three sisters. Cyrilda, Avarosa, and Lysandra. But one doesn't want to talk about these things. You see? Do you know something about this, Brom? Some story? Well, I've heard, of course, about the War of the Three Sisters uh, thousands of years ago. Yetis fought with the Three Sisters against the Void, and they won. Thanks to Lysandra, I think, and a secret weapon. But the Yetis paid a great price. What price? Legend doesn't say. Maybe our blue friend can tell us more. Ah, <sighs> well, um... Giant Poro is right. <laughs> it's time to sleep, little hero. Legends need to be fresh. Okay. But tomorrow... Tomorrow, we'll be legends, Nunu. Together. Are we getting any closer, Mom? Are we on the right track? I would tell you if you were heading in the wrong direction, Nunu. But are we close? When will we get there? What else do I need to know? You need to be patient, Nunu. You'll find everything in the heart of the blue. Believe, Nunu. Believe. I don't think I'll ever know more than you. What, what is the heart of the blue, child? It's a candle. Right, Mom? A candle? What do you mean, it's a candle? A candle for the night. I thought that's what you said. Did I get it wrong? No, child. You didn't get it wrong. I was just testing you. What else can you tell me about it? Um, a fire for the darkness, you said. Also, it's a weapon? What kind of weapon? Wielded by whom? 
Are you okay? I'm okay, Nunu. Why? Is something the matter? Um, no. Everything's fine, I guess. So, what do I do next? You carry on, my son. You endure. That's it? That's it. Trust in Willem. Trust in yourself. You'll get there, Nunu. I promise. <gasps> Caravan. Where is everyone? Mom? Mom, are you here? Mom! I can save you! I'm here, Nunu. I'm here. Just a little faster. A candle for the night. Come on. Hurry, Nunu. I'm almost there, Mom. Wait for me. Yeti and his boy are so close. So close to the Freljord's darkest secret. Does the Yeti really know where he's going? And why go there? The creature will only find pain. It is the same pain I carry. The agony of losing your closest kin. Or is it something else? Did the Yeti hide something there? Something I can't see, even when I puppet the boy's dreams. An ultimate weapon called the Heart of the Blue. Oh, that foolish hero, the Heart of the Freljord is with them. I'll deal with him. Then the Yeti will bring me its secrets. You are where the blizzard uh, used to be, little one. It worked? It worked! Look! Guys, look! The winged mountain! We made it! Brom! Your mighty stew of heroes worked! <laughs> the protector of the frail yard strikes again! Thanks, Brom! Come on, guys! <clears throat> His eyes... That boy is... Uh, curious. Uh, Brom thinks it is time for first hero lesson. Yes, now let Brom give you both the best piece of hero advice ever. Well, what is it? Run! What? No!
Freljord's greatest hero has fallen. Now, Yeti, you're next. You will wield this heart of the blue for me. At any cost. Prom's gonna be okay, right, Willem? Right? But that fall, it was so far, and there were so many wolves. You know, I think you're right. He is the heart of the Freljord. Rom can beat an army with one hand tied behind his back. And, and a tiny storm and some ice wolves are no match for our Rom. I hope.
slice a frozen serpent in half. First side landing! What kind of magic freezes an entire army? Which maybe could, but it looks like they were frozen a long time ago. Well, I guess I didn't sleep great. Right? Yeah. I had that weird dream again. It's mom. Every time I have that dream, I feel like oh. I'm losing her again. Right. And then there's this feeling like, like I'm being watched, maybe? Like there's someone else in the dream, too. Hey. I don't know. It's hard to describe. Good thing make you a good person? Mm -hmm. Not 
agree to disagree, I guess. Are you okay, Willump? bothering you, but you're still carrying me. I'd never make it this far without you. It feels like you're my family too, Willem. You and though I'm not a yeti. I never really thought of it like that before. We're the only one each other has right now. That's what a family is. It's like you're my shield. This is getting pretty bad, huh? Whoa! I can't see a thing! You need to lighten up, buddy. I'm gonna blow it. <gasps> that was amazing! It was even louder than you snoring, Willem! <laughs> um, Willem? I'm starting to think... Maybe we shouldn't have blown that horn. You see that? What is it? Volley bear? The volley bear? Are you sure? Uh -oh.
safe now? We're safe now, right? I'm like 99% sure we're safe now. Mr. Volleybear, sir? No. But you will be able to roar like yourself, Cub. 
A true roar, your true power, comes from within. Sure thing. I understand. My true roar comes from within. I don't get it. Now go. You have disturbed me long enough. I must rest. Gather my strength for what is to come. Um, how exactly do we get out of here? We're looking for the Winged Mountain, and... Ramshara. Of course you are. You are already there. Thank you. Thank you so much, oh great and wise bear. We will meet again, Cub. One day, on the eve of battle. And if you haven't found what you are searching for by then, I'll kill you both myself. <laughs> Good one, Mr. Molly Bear. He's not really gonna kill us, right, Willem? Uh, Willem? We made it, Willem! What did the Volley Bear call this place? Ramshara? Come on, Willem! We should be celebrating! We fought the Volley Bear and lived to tell the tale, and now we're finally at the Winged Mountain! Well, anyway, we made it, Willem! What did the Volley Bear call this place? Ramshara? Willem, we should be celebrating! We fought the volley bear and lived to tell the tale, and now we're finally at the Winged Mountain! Well, anyway, looks like we gotta find a way inside. <laughs>